chit chat. My chit chat guest tonight is one of Australia's most beloved entertainers. From her sellout shows as lead vocalist of the Shantuzis to acting roles in Neighbours, Prisoner, Underbelly, and more. To being the host of the sexual health program Sex Life in the 1990s to winning Over Our Hearts in the most recent series of I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. She's now spreading the love and joy as a marriage celebrant, continuing her streak of melting hearts. It is with much delight I get to say, please welcome to the stage, Totty Goldsmith! <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, please. Tony Goldsmith, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. A standing ovation from there. Everyone's exhausted from that long list of credits that you've got. Ah, that's nothing. It's, it just doesn't stop with you. You do uh, like absolutely everything. It's, it's incredible. I like to keep myself stimulated and interested. I do. I do everything. Yeah, there's nothing that you, you don't give your hand out. And we're going to talk about some of the things that you've been trying recently. Yes. Uh, but first, I just want to say thank you so much uh, for being here. It's very exciting. And before we go anywhere, I, I can't... You played Margot Robbie's mother in Neighbours. Uh, you guys have heard of Margot Robbie? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> now, um, how are you feeling about Neighbours finishing? I think it's... I think it, look, it's really sad, but I guess everything has its time. It's just... It's such a, a beautiful institution and all yeah. the crew and all the cast it's going to be really sad to see it go but it's had a really long life how many years has it's, it been it must it's be like 30 or, or something, something like that it's been amazing it's crazy i was yeah. um i was on neighbors about 12 13 years ago Were you? Uh, yeah and uh, my character brad dawson was uh, a kindergarten teacher i was yeah. studying to be a kindergarten teacher but yeah. he was selling drugs on the side to play for the tuition <laughs> oh, so uh, yes yeah, some of the storylines of neighbors over the years have been quite interesting but you had a, a fantastic one there you are on a set yeah there i am uh, do you think you are you going to watch the last episode and have a, a bit of a tear uh, look who's i think we all have to watch it but it's just yeah it's such a great institution neighbors it's yeah it's going to be really <laughs> sad i felt really honored to be on it i sort of all of the shows that i've been part of in australia i feel like it's just so good to have been part of these iconic yeah. um shows and neighbors are certainly one of them and to work with margot i mean it n did not surprise me when she took off you sort of you get that feeling, do you, when you meet someone? She was just so, she was so good and so beautiful and so much fun and so Aussie and so um, easy to be with and easy to work with and, and she had such big dreams and so, she, and she just allowed it. She wasn't like, I've got to be famous. She was just exuberant and excited about life and so when she took off it was like, yeah, of course. So I imagine then you would have seen a, a little bit of yourself in, in Margot, because you're Well, she is my like daughter. Her. Well, I she mean. is <laughs> certainly on camera, and um, you, you do exude this confidence. Uh, and uh, we can't go past talking about a show, and I know it was quite a while ago now, what? but uh, Sex Life uh, was a huge show in the 1990s, and you were one of the 50th sexiest <laughs> people in the world. Oh. Yeah. Whoever chooses this, who judges sexy people? <laughs> Come on, I mean. Just a, a bunch of creepy old men somewhere in the corridor going, yeah. oh, yes, this will do. Do you think a show like Sex Life um, could be, with, with social media and uh, some of the negative commentary that women in media face, do you think a show like that could be made now? Oh, I think it'd be so important now. Yeah. I think it was way ahead of its time. And I think now, because when we did it, it was 25 years ago, there was one dating site match.com and now there's like 15,000 yeah Did someone remember that yeah, yeah. and so <laughs> it just was, online seeing they're tapping away so much we talk more about our sexuality we talk everyone's you know gender fluidity and openness it'd be a much better show now I reckon do you, would you be up for hosting a show like that do you think 100 percent Ah, uh, who'd love to see sex life return <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> well we're going to take a break we'll be back with more Tony Goldsmith after these messages Welcome back to Live from Secure. I'm joined with the incredibly talented Tony Goldsmith! Yeah! <laughs> now, Tony Goldsmith, does the amount of love that you get ever... Do you ever get used to being adored by absolutely everyone? 
Aww, it's very nice. It's really warm in here. It's beautiful. Thanks, guys. It's very think, nice. Did you get Tell extra me. warmth uh, yes. after I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here? Because people, like, they've known you for years and years. Yeah. But you were quite open in that show. Yeah. Well, I am. I mean, why not? But it, it, it is that kind of environment where you, you don't get a whole lot of sleep and you're starved and you're talking to people and you get triggered by something they say. So, yeah, it was pretty... You're pretty open. Did, did you forget about the cameras? Or by, by the stage that you, you opened up and it was all in the media and that, were you not caring too much and you were just happy to get it off your chest? You mean the drug thing? The, yeah. Yeah. No, that was good, actually. That was good talking about it. I didn't plan it, but I was yeah. triggered by something that Davina said and it came out. And it's sort of like, yeah, no, I think it's pretty good that I finally talked about it. <laughs> but read the cameras. I totally forgot cameras were there. There was like, I don't know, like 500 cameras. And in, uh, there's so many. But... Sometimes you'd be walking down a path and you'd hit zzzz. Oh, you know, <laughs> a little right. bit of a following yeah, footstep yeah, yeah. going but on. You forget it. because you're in this jungle and they hide them pretty well. And yeah. But every so often you'd, you'd, you'd hear somebody cough from behind a wall or sneeze or something. Going, oh, so it's right. not like this set. They're, they're actually hidden behind walls and you can't... Oh, totally hidden. You oh. can't see them. Yeah. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah, like you're living in, in a, this beautiful... Well, it's actually rainforest. Yeah. But it's beautiful and they're all behind this massive rock wall doing their thing and then suddenly you just catch a light with a camera moving. You're like, what's going on there? Yeah. Well, I would personally, um, ah, that sound what's means that? it's time to play a this or that. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to put 60 seconds I on love the game. clock. Yes. Uh, you're going to have to answer as many questions as you can within 60 questions. Uh, six, seconds. Uh, you know, maybe you're nervous again. Yeah. Uh, each question only has two answers to choose from and you must choose one. Uh, Toddy Goldsmith, are you ready? I'm ready, baby. All right, your time starts now. I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. As fake as my teeth or as real as muck? As real as muck. Okay, all right, yep. cool. Summer or winter? Winter. Facebook or Twitter? Facebook. Uh, who's nicer, Dr. Chris Brown or Julia Morris? Oh. Nicer? Uh, Julia. Julia, all right. Oh, it's I just pineapple belong on pizza. No. Okay, you've got to get out right now. Oh, we disagree. I? Uh, St Kilda or King's Cross? St Kilda. All right, uh, a cup of tea or a glass of wine? Glass of wine. Of course, especially with my company, the more you drink, the more tolerable I am. Uh, <laughs> singing solo or singing as part of a group? Part of a group. Uh, who are bigger bridezillas, brides or gay men? Gay men. Gay men. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, have you ever married a couple and thought, well, this just isn't going to last? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, early mornings or late nights? Early mornings. And finally, should everyone looking to get married or uh, follow your beautiful, positive, inspiring uh, Insta story, jump on the socials and follow you at Toddy underscore Goldsmith. What? What the hell no, was that? No, I about getting I'm married just... in social media. I just, yeah, you I'll... lost me. All right, the, the last ladder. question. <laughs> and finally, should everyone looking to get married or those who just love everything that you're about, uh, give you a like and follow you on the socials at Toddy underscore Goldsmith. <laughs> it's... Okay. I, I'm giving you... Uh, Toddy's really I know, sweet. I, she was I like... Just, I just zoned out. I didn't... I, it's, didn't... You, I get that look get all the time. Usually from my or... partner, just like... <laughs> they just zone out, just switched off. Uh, that was just a plug for people to check out Thank your you. socials. You can yes. follow uh, Toddy Goldsmith on the socials at Toddy underscore Goldsmith. <laughs> That's at Toddy underscore Goldsmith. Toddy Goldsmith, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> Thank you so much.